Buying your first home as a married couple is super exciting. It's also a huge milestone. While it can be an awesome experience to share with your partner, there are some things you should know before buying a house together. In some instances, married couples may be able to afford more with two incomes. However, there may be some additional complications if either spouse has bad credit or debt. If this is the case, they need to figure out if it's best to apply for the mortgage together or have the spouse with a better credit score and less debt apply solo. For the better of your financial future, you need to make some crucial decisions. And as someone with experience in this area, I want to share what I know with you. And if you're looking to buy your first property with your spouse, this video, it's for you. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first step you should take in your home search is calculating how much you can afford. This is the best way to kick things off. When you know how much you can spend, you'll be able to navigate the rest of the process. This applies to married and single folks. I suggest multiplying your monthly gross income by 0.28. So with that said, Try not to spend any more than 28% of your monthly income on your housing costs. This is a great way to ensure you have enough money left over for other expenses. As for married couples, two incomes have more flexibility to make house payments. In fact, if one spouse loses their job, you'll still have some income flowing in. Let's say only one spouse works and you don't have the backup of your partner's income. I suggest creating an emergency fund in case your income stops or unforeseen expenses arise. When applying for a mortgage, both you and your spouse's credit scores play a major role. Why? Your credit scores show lenders how well you've both managed your credit in the past. For reference, the average credit score ranges anywhere between 300 and 850. To qualify for the best mortgage rates out there, you're required a credit score of at least 760. It's important to know each other's credit scores before applying for the mortgage together. Let's say one spouse has a very low credit score compared to their partner. It's smarter to leave them off the mortgage application. Keep in mind that lenders will look at the scores of all individuals applying for a loan. A bad score is capable of canceling out a good one. If just one spouse applies for the loan, the lenders will only use their income when determining the mortgage size they can afford. Before moving forward, decide whether or not you should both apply. Married couples have the option to either include both spouses on the application or just one. A joint application is a good idea if you both have good credit scores and limited debt. This is one way to get access to a bigger loan. A single application is the best way to go if only one spouse has good credit score and not a lot of debt. If you go this route, it's still possible for the other spouse to help with costs. A spouse doesn't have to be listed on a loan to help provide additional income for things like down payments and recurring costs. In order to reach your down payment goal, it's best to make a plan. It is best to make a 20% down payment to buy a home without paying for private mortgage insurance. If you decide to set aside a larger sum of money, you may receive a better interest rate. Plus, you'll have lower monthly payments. Whether you're married or single, you should set up an appointment with a loan officer. Part of their job is to help you determine how much you can afford. They can also show you ways to improve your mortgage application. Working with a loan officer will surely make things less complicated for you. And it doesn't hurt to diminish some of the stress involved with buying a home. In a session, the loan officer will review both spouse's income, savings, expenses, and available grants for down payment and closing costs and types of mortgages. An LO will create a realistic, effective plan that will guide you through the next steps to becoming a homeowner. On top of this, they'll help you find ways to adjust your budget in accordance with your savings goals. When buying your first home as a married couple, there are bound to be a few bumps in the road. That's why I created this video. While you should expect this process to be a bit stressful, there are definitely ways to make it a little easier on your end. And to stay up to date on all things Sarasota, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I have so much more content to share with you in the near future. I'll see you next time.